Hello, this is Ben with DC Digital. Today I'm demonstrating our standard model DC-406N. In this video I'll be going over the features of this product, how to use it, and I'll follow up at the end with the hardware. This is a six digit clock, a four inch high red LED digits, extruded aluminum enclosure, uh, teardrop mounting tabs on the back for mounting it to a wall, uh, power input is 12 volts DC at 0.7 amps, and an included wall transformer is uh, a wall transformer is included with the uh, with the clock purchase. Uh, this is this clock is a standalone, other than that it's synchronized to NTP via an, via a network time protocol to an NTP server and all of the configurations for setting up the clock are via a web page that is hosted by the device itself, by the clock itself. Shows time of day in a digital format in either 12 or 24 hour format. And you can set it to any, any time zone in the world according to uh, standard time zone rules. It also allows you to connect to any NTP server via the IP address or the domain name. And you can also set the NTP interval uh, with which uh, it queries the NTP server, and that's to comply with whoever is hosting the NTP server and the rules that they might have in place. Some of them permit you to query once a day, and some of them will permit you to query once per hour or once every couple of hours, etc. So there's a way to configure that inside the, inside the settings. Depending on what rule you enter, uh, you can automatically adjust for daylight savings as well. There is an LED that will light next to the three in the upper right hand corner, upper left hand corner, uh, if there is a network connection, and that'll indicate that you've no longer you're no longer connected to the network that it was not able to synchronize, but it'll continue to free run it on its own in between uh, connection intervals. I'm going to zoom in and try and show you the web page and go over some of those settings more, more closely. So we'll just see if this will, there we go. See if this will focus, and here we have the home page. There's also a clock settings page, a network settings. Both of these pages are uh, password protected. We'll get into that. And there's a bell schedule page. On the home page, it shows just basic information. It shows the uh, web server where it's connected to. This one is connected to time.windows.com. Uh, it is when it last was successfully synchronized. Uh, let me refresh the page because that is okay. So it's okay. So it last synchronized at uh, fifteen oh nine, and it's three ten ten. So and it's connecting. It's synchronizing every minute. <clears throat> shows network configuration here, uh, and in the time information here, that it's 12 hour, and there's our time zone rule. So you can check the rule against the the uh, standard, and if the clock's not showing the right time to to see if the rule is the culprit. Uh, network network time protocol happens in what's called UTC or Universal Time Coordinated. Uh, which is close to England time, and uh, and then every other time zone is an offset from that. So we'll get into that. I'll do the network settings tab first. So on this tab, you can change the username and password that you use to log into the configuration page here. Uh, the default is username and password in lowercase, and you just submit that to make changes. You can change the device name and you can also set it up for DHCP, which is automatically obtaining its IP settings, or static, uh, static 
in which you would enter the values for its IP settings here and submit. Okay. On the clock settings tab, you can set the NTP server to where it is obtaining time, and this is set up to uh, a domain name, but you can also enter an IP address there just the same. You can set the update interval from 1 to 1800 minutes, which encompasses most of the rules that are known that, that I'm aware of. Uh, that's over a day if you query once per day. Uh, the hour format can be set to 12 or 24 hour. We'll go ahead and set it to 12, 24 hour to show you what that looks like. So there we have it set to 24 hour and as it updates here, <clears throat> in about 30 seconds it will click over to the right time. So there we go. Okay, and that if I refresh the page will reflect here as well. So we re-synchronized re at 15, 12, 12. Okay, so and we're now showing 24-hour mode down here. Okay, going back to the clock settings tab. The rule that you need to enter is um, according to IEEE standard 1003.1-2017, also known as POSIX.1. And any rule can be entered, and we've listed some of the most common ones here, including all of the American time zones, or U.S. time zones, and then several of the major cities in the world, uh, kind of a, as examples of that standard. So you can just copy and paste any, any rule you wish. Up here in this field. and hit submit and now the rule has changed and when the clock updates it'll change to the current time zone okay uh, going back to this page if your rule isn't found here and you can't find the standard and you need questions or have any any doubts feel free to give us a call we'll help you Get the right rule entered for your local time. Okay. I'm going to try and move over to the hardware now. So right here on the right-hand side, you'll see the RJ45 connection for Ethernet. That's standard Cat5 or Cat6, and the barrel connector for the wall transformer. And across the back here, you'll see the adjustable teardrop mounting tabs. All of our products are manufactured and assembled in our location in Carlisle, Ohio. If you like this product and want to order it or have questions about how we can customize this to your specific needs, contact us in the link using the link in the description. This is Ben with DC Digital demonstrating our standard model DC-406N. Thank you for watching.